Pete Davidson is focusing on his mental health. The Saturday Night Live alum has been in trauma therapy since April, owing largely to Kanye West's social media posts about him throughout his relationship with Kim Kardashian. What is the most recent? Three days after Pete and Kim's breakup was exclusively revealed by E! News, the rapper shared a since-deleted Instagram post of a fake New York Times front page that read Skeet Davidson dead at age 28. It was the latest in a string of social media posts and comments directed at the comedian during his nine-month relationship with Kanye West's estranged wife. In his music, the Grammy winner rapped about beating Pete Davidson's ass and called him a dickhead on social media, among other things. While Kim and Pete attempted to ignore Kanye's actions at first, Kanye refused to back down, even taking aim at Kim, with him later acknowledging his posts came off as harassing Kim. Pete's friend Dave Cyrus shared photos of a text exchange between Kanye and Pete in March, which showed Pete defending Kim in the midst of Kanye's posts. Pete wrote in part of the text, Kim is literally the best mother I've ever met. What she does for these kids is incredible, and you are so lucky to have her as your children's mother. I've decided that I'm no longer going to let you treat us this way, and I'm done being quiet. Grow the hell up. In a video message, Kanye responded to the text exchange. The boyfriend texts me antagonizing me, bragging about being in bed with my wife. I thought I thought it publicly for a year and a half has been I've been dragged and how she's not my wife, she don't have a last name, and now he texting me talking and bragging about how he's in bed with my wife, and I'm like, well, who's watching? my children if he's texting me bragging about being in bed with my wife. Pete, on the other hand, had had enough. He didn't mind when Kanye came after him, the source said, but when it comes to Kim and the kids, he's not going to let that happen anymore. He's no longer keeping quiet. Kim is still standing by Pete today. Kim is upset amid the death hoax. Not only is she depressed from the breakup, but this has also tested her mentally. She is not okay with this type of behavior and will not tolerate it in her loved ones. She has repeatedly requested that he remove the post. She will always defend Pete. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments. That ends today's video, make sure to like and subscribe for more daily videos.